Hello all you fellow artists and artist lovers out there. I'm Mikkel Mines and today I'm going to show you how to make a fast watercolor um, on top of your sketch. So here we have um, um, a line drawing. Me and uh, Kenneth Lelke have been doing 36 of these line drawings for the Kickstarter beggars and 21 of them will be colored. I use, as you see here, Della Rowney as my little uh, normal brush where I can pick um, where I've put like self-chosen colors in the side and the other big box you see is uh, blocks my favorite all colors um, the drawing will end up like this I really like the look of it it's fast and it's um, and it's um, it has a really nice uh, look to it I think um, I was in Paris and doing my internship after school um, at Dandelo, where Cédric Babouche, uh, one of my favorite artists, he uh, became my mentor and learned me a lot of watercolors. There are so many ways of doing watercolors. This is just um, one way uh, where you can start. I used two um, cups of water, as I just showed you. One for warm, warm colors and uh, one for cold colors, which is um, for me green and blue and the other one red and yellow, so I don't mix them. As for the brushes, this was Raphael brushes. It sucks a lot of water and I like to work with big brushes. As you see here, it, it gives out so much. Uh, and what I'm doing here is that I want, I'm, I'm describing the, the feeling, I'm trying to find the tone of the picture before I actually put the colors of their, of their, um, yeah, their clothes and their skin. Um, and the feel here is warm, it's nice, it's sunny and um, and uh, then I let it dry. And then I start doing the real colors. This is the light tone where um, you will you will think about uh, doing light tones first, then medium, and then hard tones in the end. Uh, so you can direct the eye of the viewer. I like to uh, leave um, negative space, which is the white you see in the pic picture. Um, because that just, uh, it's, it's a, uh, gives this natural feel that I really like the look of it. Um, so here I um, finish up the light tones on, the, on Wilhelm here. But as you see, it's uh, the values are kind of um, the same right now. So now I want to push out uh, Wilhelm a bit. And I'm going to do that as you see already here with the eyes and the eyebrows. And um, when it's dry, I like to, you can either put values like dark versus light uh, while it's wet, but I choose to do it here while it's, uh, it's dry because of the fact that it's going to give this kind of hard line to it, which I like. It's not going to blend as well. Um, you you always want to think about when do you draw when it's wet, when do you want to draw when it's, uh, it's um, dry and really choose carefully because that's going to have two, two different options, uh, a way of, of turning out. What I did here was uh, I showed you Sinelia. It's a, a waterproof ink, and when you mix that with your watercolors, it's gonna be um, it's gonna be much more uh, clear and not as transparent as, as watercolors. Um, you can go really really dark on these, but what I do here is make them not so um, not so dark. Um, this is the, the the hardest step when you do the shadows. It's uh, it's you really have to grow some balls. It's it's a scary uh, part of the process when you when you start doing it. Okay, but um, the values are kind of the same here. So what I like to do is go in and put some hard shadows to uh, put in um, some focus points. Um, I use Faber Castell. It's my uh, it's a great great tool. Um, to finish up with and it was the the one that was most promising for this task yes i hope you um you learned something today and your is all you felt it was uh, interesting and uh, and cozy to sit and and color with me uh, write in the comments if you like these kind of videos so we can do some more and uh, and give us some ideas for what you want to see while we wait for Tales of Lithuanian, which we all look forward to get out. Thanks. Hey. Have a great day.